Hi, I'm Cece from Apartment 613, and tonight we're at Venus Envy to have a chat about what's happening at the shop. Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm the owner of Venus Envy. So can you tell us a little bit more about Venus Envy? Sure. We're an education-oriented sex shop and bookstore, um, and we've been in Ottawa for 18 years. Um, so we have lots of books, um, all our staff are really well trained on everything that we sell and we offer a variety of workshops um, throughout the year. We're filming a special segment in celebration of National Coming Out Day and um, I just wanted to get your impression on um, what you think one of the biggest challenges for coming out is nowadays. Um, I think there are many. Um, I think one of them though is the idea that you even have to come out or that you have to come out everywhere in your life um, or that you kind of only come out one time and that's it. Um, I think there's this idea that it's like something that you do and that you have to do as a queer person and then once you do it it's done and that's not, none of those things are, are the reality for a lot of people um, and so I think it can be yeah challenging for a lot of people to come up against those kind of myths of coming out. As an educator here, do you get a lot of questions from people who are considering maybe coming out? Yeah, like we're a bit of a kind of queer and trans hub, I guess, in the city. And so even though we're not officially a community center, lots of folks come in to just chat or ask us questions. Um, and so we, yeah, we definitely get questions from people about um, how to come out or if they should come out or like how to tell a family member or, you know, there's a big holiday coming up, like what happens if I've told my parents but I haven't told my great aunt and do I even have to do that? Um, lots of kind of questions of just how to navigate the world and coming out. What do you, what piece of advice do you give to people who are sort of in that space where they're unsure or they're undecided? I would say to go at the pace that people feel comfortable with um, and just to do what feels good for that individual person. So for some people it's really important to be out to everyone in their lives and for other people it's just not that big of a concern for them. And so I would say to, you know, really kind of listen to yourself and see what's important um, in your life. Also, just want to ask you what you feel that maybe the best or the most rewarding aspect of coming out maybe. For sure. Um, I read somewhere once where someone talked about coming out as actually letting people into your sexuality and letting people um, know more about you. And I feel like that um, is a really kind of beautiful way to frame coming out, that it's not sort of a pressure where you have to like come out and be some kind of perfect queer person in the world but actually you're sort of letting people in and letting them know you a bit more and I think that that's probably one of the best things about, about letting people in I guess um, is that the people who you decide need to know that information get to know a little bit more about you. I've never heard it framed that way that's really nice. Um, and then my last question is, um, if there are people who are new to Ottawa, they may not, it may not be so apparent how to get connected um, with the queer community or different groups or uh, resources that are available. Do you have any advice? For sure, yeah. So if there's students, I'd definitely suggest checking out um, the Pride Center at Ottawa U and the Gender and Sexuality Resource Center at uh, Carleton. Um, Just in Ottawa, Kindspace is an LGBTQ organization that does really fantastic programming. Um, and they have lots of groups and lots of events and things that you can go to to kind of meet people in a low pressure way. Um, the Ten Oaks Project is another organization here in Ottawa that does a lot of stuff for um, uh, younger queer and trans people and also people who are children of uh, queer and trans folks. Um, and then there's, I think, one gay bar <laughs> remaining, so you could go to the lookout. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. So at Apartment 613, we're really interested in covering more LGBTQ content. But to do that, we need to know what you want to know and what you want to be seeing. So make sure that you comment down in the comment section or that you reach out to us on social media and let us know what we're missing in terms of LGBTQ content.